Hi, this is Elsa P. here to talk about astrology and projection. Um, uh, projection is when you take a person outside yourself and you imagine them to be uh, whatever that you imagine them to be, whether it's based in reality or not. It's a Neptune ruled phenomena, and since I have Neptune tied up with my midheaven and my ascendant, I'm a perfect vehicle for this. The first example that comes to mind is when I met the soldier. Um, he took one look at me and imagined I was a, a, a Italian and from privilege in my. Um, you know, I had a bunch of brothers who would beat you up if you did anything wrong. He made all kinds of assumptions uh, based on his personal experience because his girlfriend before me was also Italian and she was from privilege and people would defend her. So obviously, since that holds for her, it must be true for me, uh, even though it had nothing at all to do with reality. And once he got this in, this, in his mind, there was no uh, telling, him, in, telling him anything different. Um, so I was going to tell a story of a more recent happening because this is very, very common. This happens, uh, it just happens uh, all the time. Some, some gal wrote me for a consultation last week and um, her, her initial email, she, it was just glowing. She said, you're fantastic, you're wonderful, you're mind-blowing, you're a genius, I just can't wait to work with you. And I read something like that and I think, oh my God, am I in for it? Because you, you're turning me up into a saint. I'm actually... Um, you know, I'm a human being, and you know, I'm a mere uh, woman. Uh, I'm a single mother living in the suburbs, and I can definitely read a chart. But all, you know, all the rest of that is so inflated. Uh, if you're going to be dreamed of into a saint, it's just almost a given. It is a given. That over eventually, you're going to take a fall, and you're going to be the sinner. So. Um, Reading this, there's nothing you can do. You can't write back and say, hey, could you temper your, you know, because that's controlling, right? Or, you know, could you maybe lower your expectations or, um, uh, you know, really, I'm not, I'm not fantastic. I suck. I mean, there's nothing you can do but walk right into the trap. So I wrote her my standard reply. Do you want to schedule a half hour or an hour? And, uh, you know, I'm pretty flexible. I can accommodate people. And we started negotiating um, a time and we were working with uh, talking on a Saturday and that was all that we had I hadn't been paid and we didn't have a time uh, or anything set and then uh, something came up I was going to meet the soldier so I wrote her back and I said I'm not going to be able to do this uh, on the weekend we'll have to pick a different time well then I got a letter back and now she's just she's so disappointed in me she's just disappointed and I thought oh my god you know <laughs> I, how can you be disappointed I haven't done anything yet uh, so I don't know what to do. I wrote her back and I said, I'm sorry, you're disappointed. You know, would you like to reschedule? No, and I'm you're going to be in trouble. And then here comes the mail back. You're horrible. You suck. You're heinous. You're disgusting. You're arrogant. You're egomaniac. You're... And I found a male astrologer and he's sensitive and he's good and he's great and he's fantastic and you suck. And I just reading this and thinking, who is she talking to? And is it, or does she think I'm her mother or her father? But really, I didn't even read it because I have been through this so many times uh, where you're just, uh, it's like you're, stand, you're a stand-in. You're a stand-in for the star and someone else's star in someone else's movie and no one even gives you a script. Uh, so that's what I have to say about projection today. This is Elsa P. at ElsaElsa.com. See you next time.